Welcome to A Push, everybody. Uh, I'm your captain speaking. I'm Aaron Owens. I'll be your teacher this year. And I wanted to put this little video together as a course introduction uh, so that you could get acclimated to uh, me as a person before school started. Wanted to tell you a little bit about myself um, and a little bit about the course. So, without further ado, I am Mr. Aaron Owens. I was born and raised in far western Kentucky near the uh, town of Paducah. I say I'm from Paducah, but I'm actually from Bardwell, Kentucky. It's a very small town right on the Mississippi River, so most people's heard of Paducah, so I'll say Paducah. Um, I've loved history ever since I was a child. Uh, one of the other kids were playing doctor and lawyer. I told everybody I was going to grow up and be a history teacher, so I kind of hit that one out of the park, I guess. I was an athlete in high school. Um, I played basketball. I played baseball, but I was also on the academic team, so I was involved in quite a few uh activities in school. Um, I found that to be very beneficial as I went into college and into adulthood. Uh, I graduated from Murray State University in Murray, Kentucky in 2004 with my bachelor's degree in history. I received my master's uh, from Indiana University Southeast in 2012 in education. Uh, loved both of those colleges. Would highly recommend either one. Uh, I started my teaching career down home in western Kentucky at Ballard Memorial High School, which is at the confluence of the Mississippi and the Ohio River. I uh, moved to Louisville in 07 and took a job with the Phoenix School of Discovery, taught there for five or six years, and then moved over to Butchel Metropolitan High School, uh, where I stayed for a few years. And then I found myself uh, at Atherton High School, and I absolutely love it here. I'm so lucky to uh, have landed the job at Atherton. The students are great, the faculty's great, and I just absolutely love it. Um, since I've been in Louisville, I've coached football and I've coached baseball, but I've kind of given that up uh, to focus more time on my family and my small children, which I do currently have two. Their names Caden and Kinley, and I'm married to my lovely wife, Ashley, and we have a little one on the way, and it is a boy, and we currently have decided to name him Jacob Locke Owens, after uh, John Locke. So you'll be uh, probably hearing me talk about Mr. the philosopher John Locke quite a bit in class. Um, outside of school, I do a lot of camping. We have a place at Patoka Lake. We fish. We enjoy the outdoors. I play a lot of pool. I love going to a lot of music concerts. And I try to read uh, as much as I can. It's kind of tough with small kids around, but I try to get some reading in. Uh, whenever there's a little downtime, a little quiet time. So, there's some pictures of us. That's uh, me on the left there playing Jenga at the lake, actually. My daughter, Kinley, looks like she's getting ready to go outside in the snow. And on the right, my lovely wife, Ashley, is holding our son, Caden, who was Chicken Little in uh, his school play. He got the lead role, so we were super excited about that. Um, now let's talk a little bit about how you're going to be successful in a push. Um, a push is a strenuous course, but uh, we're going to find success. And the ways that we're going to find success in this class is we're going to read our textbook. Nothing replaces reading your textbook. I'll have tons of videos, I'll have tons of lectures, activities in class, but the number one thing that you must do in order to be successful in the class and on the exam is to read your book. Also, you need to do your chapter IDs and take good notes when I assign them. These chapter IDs will be very crucial. Um, throughout the course of the year, and uh, it'll give you uh, a good study tool to use uh, for my exams and for the big A-push test. Watch the videos that I post on YouTube. It's important. Um, I try, I'm going to try to do a lot less lecturing in class and have you guys take a look at my chapter summary videos outside of class so that we can do more discussion uh, and activities in class. I'll also link uh, playlists of videos that I find useful uh, that aren't my videos, but they might belong to, say, Tom Ritchie or somebody. Um, I need you to watch those as well. Do your homework. If I assigned you some homework, I think it's informative and imperative that you do it. I'm not a, the kind of guy that assigns homework just to give you busy work. The stuff I do assign you is important and it will help you. Um, don't procrastinate. When, I've, when you know you've got readings coming up due, or you know you've got chapter IDs coming up due, get those things done. Study in short intervals, but do it often. I'm not a huge guy on cramming for history. History is a fluid 
uh, venture and a little bit uh, of study in short intervals daily goes a long way versus cramming the night before my tests. Pay attention. Our discussions are key. You're going to be assigned reading your textbook, and our class time is designed for you to understand that material. Okay, Make sure you're paying attention, and make sure you're being active. You won't get anything out of it if you're not asking questions or you're not participating in our activities. I recommend getting a review book. Strive for Five, I think, makes the best one. Uh, you can find those on Amazon, eBay, maybe even your local bookstore. Uh, but get some sort of review book and actually use it. Also, we got to learn how to take this test. Okay, Most of us have been in AP Euro, so we do kind of know what to expect. Um, but we have to learn how to properly write LEQs, DBQs, and short answers. Also, we have to learn how to um, manipulate these multiple choice questions that we're going to be seeing on this exam. So it's important that we learn how to take the test. There'll be several different ways you'll be assessed in my course. Uh, each chapter, and there are 41 chapters, will have a reading quiz that goes along with it. Typically, you'll be asked five multiple choice questions and five chronological order questions. We typically do that once a week. Sometimes the chronological order questions will be matching, but most of the time it'll be chronological order. There are nine periods of uh, time in A push. I know Euro was uh, divided up into four periods. There are nine periods in A push. So we're going to have nine unit exams for these periods. We may have eight exams, and I may put exam one and exam two, or period one and period two uh, together and only have eight. But you can definitely count on eight unit exams to go along with those. But don't worry, we have lots of fun projects. Uh, throughout the year, and we also have a year-long project that um, you will be getting information on at the beginning of school when I hand out your syllabus. That is not due until May, okay? So we will have plenty of opportunities uh, to keep your grades high because you're going to get receive, uh, you're going to get class participation and homework grades from completing your notes, doing your IDs, and any of the other stuff that I have for you. So it's crucial that you keep up with those because my my exams are going to be hard. Um, but if you keep up with all your work, your grade's going to be fine. Okay. If you bomb a test every once in a while, well, we can probably get around that. Uh, but that is predicated on the fact that you're doing all of your work in class and outside of class. That will be your saving grace. Okay. The goal is to, of course, pass the A push test, but that's not our primary objective. I have several different goals that I want us to reach throughout the year, and last on that list is passing the test. First thing I want us to learn how to do is to become a quality American citizen. And by, by doing that, you need to know your rights and your responsibilities. So I hope that I'm able to teach that to you this year. I want you to learn how to think about history in a new and exciting way. History is not memorizing facts and dates. History is a fluid subject, and a lot can be gained by studying and understanding history. I want you to learn what justice is and why I think it's the most important word in the English language. You'll be hearing me refer to justice a lot. Is this action just? Was that a just maneuver by the government? And I want us to take a look at when we have not upheld justice and when we have upheld justice throughout American history. I want us to learn how to avoid historical mistakes. Uh, the old saying goes, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. Well, that, that holds a little bit of water. Um, I want to help you and your generation learn how to avoid the downfalls that we've had in the past. I want you to gain new ideas and new perspectives. Uh, whether it be political ideas or perspectives or historical ideas or perspectives or just new ways of thinking or just seeing something from other people's points of view. It's never my job to tell you what to think. I just want to teach you how to think and how to keep yourself open to new objectives, new perspectives, and new ideas. And, of course, we want to pass the test. Okay, uh, Our goal is to get a three on the A-push test. Uh, that's kind of the the minimum for getting college credit for this course. So I want us to I want us to be successful. 
I know a lot of us are in this class just hoping for that um, that goal in mind and you're not super interested in history. Well, I'm going to put you in a position to where you can get a three or above on that test. But it takes you. Okay, I can't do it for you. So all in all, I'm super excited about the year. I think we're going to have a blast. Um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing all you guys in August. And if you have any questions, drop me a line on Twitter. Uh, shoot me an email. Uh, I'm available for you. I've heard from a lot of students over the summer already. Questions about their summer work. Um, I'm here. I'm free. That's my job. So good luck this summer. I hope you have a, have a fun year. And uh, we'll see you in the fall.